all you need to do is you need to have Chrome browser and you need to have two of my favorites SEO Chrome extensions. One is detailed SEO. The other one is Chrome web developer. I added links to those tools in the notes. Let's start with my most favorite one, which is Chrome web developer. So all you need to do is open the site. You want to audit headings on, then you click on Chrome web developer. Then you click on information view document outline, and this will quickly show you the structure of headings on that page. And if there are some missing headings, you will, you will see that clearly here. This is the best tool I can think of, to be honest. But let me show it to you on an example, on the example of a different site. Let's try, I don't know, Nike. I am just guessing Nike. And let's see the headings here, because I want to show you the example where those headings are not necessarily in the correct order and what it looks like using this tool. So Chrome web developer, view document outline, and as you can see, if the headings are not necessarily in the best order, you will see missing heading. Like you can see the first heading on the page is H3, your cookie settings, your cookie set settings, probably not the best thing. There are a lot of different Chrome extensions that can allow you to see heading. These two are my favorite ones. So detailed SEO, you simply click on detailed SEO headings and you can see the preview of all the headings, the number of H1, H2s, H3s. So this is also a very useful Chrome extension here the same. I personally prefer this one because when I'm doing an audit, I always copy that entire structure to the audits. I tell them what I think, what headings shouldn't be there, what should be there. And I also create an example heading structure of headings that in my opinion would be okay. So checking headings should always be part of your SEO audit, SEO analysis. If you are preparing a proposal for your clients, always check that because most often than not, I see the sites do not have that done correctly. The worst mistake is when they use heading for styling purposes. So for example, there is a, like a huge number on the site and instead of formatting it with the CSS, they format it with H1. And as a result, you get the heading structure that has random numbers, random words that have nothing to do with the actual content. And you should treat headings as chapters in the book. So a page, a given page is a book and headings are those chapters. And this is what I try to do here on basically any page. So this is the book SEO consultant, Olga Zar. This is my, my site. And in this section, I offer, a, I talk about the SEO services I offer. And here are subheadings. Then I also talk about other SEO things I do and I describe each one. And I also show you like the ways you can follow me. This is, this is not a pitch. This is an example of, I think, well formatted structure of headings. So I hope that helps you and see you in the next short tip SEO tip video. Bye bye.